Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunerie Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunerie Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Learn more at labrunery.com or by calling 573-449-5313. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, December the 23rd, a couple of days before Christmas Eve. Andrew Grabau is with us from Heart of Missouri United Way. And as we approach the end of the year, Andrew... You've got important information you want to pass yes. along, right? Well, good morning. Thank you, as always, for having me on. I yeah. really appreciate it. Um, you know, the Heart of Missouri United Way is always fighting for everyone in our community so they have the opportunities to succeed just like how we have all been so fortunate to have in our yeah. lives. Um, so United Way is always seeking support because we have neighbors who are in need, neighbors who need uh, support with health, with education, with financial stability, basic needs. So we're constantly looking for financial support so we can help those. Okay, we're need. going yeah. into the end of the year. Yes. This is a season of giving. Yes. It's a couple of days before Christmas. Um, if, if folks can find it in their heart to perhaps give a little extra to United Way, that would be most appreciated, right? Not only most appreciated, but it really is in need. We have a significant need in our community. You were telling me before we came on that homelessness in our area Mm-hmm. It's actually going up. It is, yes. So United Way, along with a number of really important partners who serve our homeless neighbors, uh, meet every two weeks uh, to review a by-name list, a list of our known homeless neighbors, and that list continues to grow. We currently, in, in November, that list was right at around 330 individuals. Um, we do know in our work with Columbia Public Schools that over the course of last year, year, they had 200 children that reported they did not know where they were going to sleep at night. Over 200 yes. kids? Yes, yes. Uh, throughout the course of a year. Didn't know where they were going to sleep. They reported that. That's correct. And s- yes. So when, 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 a, when a kid goes to school and tells their teacher they don't know where they're going to sleep that night, what happens? Well, we are fortunate, and this, you know, this is one of the important value propositions or the important reasons behind United Way. A, a teacher can contact some of the agencies, can contact us, and we can help, but they can contact some of the agencies, like Rainbow House. If they're, they're not going to send the like, kid out on the no, street. No, most definitely not. No, they don't. Now, and, and that number also means that we have kids who, you know, maybe are couch surfing. Right, but how can a children a child succeed in school if he or she is couch surfing? Um, but we do have agencies. By that you mean yeah. moving yes. from house right. to house that's each right. day. Yeah, that's exactly right. Or going to a friend's house and staying the night at a friend's house because they they don't have a home or they cannot go home for one reason or another. Now you mentioned three hundred and some odd people yes. that are homeless. How do you know that's an accurate count? Surely there are other people that are not in the system that have no place to live. So it, it, you're exactly right. This is a name of a list of individuals that we are aware of. One of the larger projects that United Way does with our uh, with other agencies is a program called Project Homeless Connect. And it's held twice a year. The next one is going to be held at the end of January. And it's an opportunity where we open our doors um, in the, the, the building where United Way is located at 105 East Ash. And we have hundreds of, of individuals uh, who come through and they get essential services. And that's another way that we can say, okay, we, we can count homeless, our, our homeless neighbors. Um, the federal government, uh, through uh, HUD, through Housing and Urban Development, requires us as a community to have a point-in-time count where you know, we go out and we count the number of individuals, so, and that's always underreported. So what, what, do you, what do you do? How do you try to – if you know somebody does not have a place to stay, they have no home, yes. no address, yes. do you 
physically take them to a shelter? Um, there, there are a couple of things we can do. Right. We have Harbor House with Salvation Army. They have a great location, a homeless shelter where they can serve individuals. We have Turning Point, which is, an, is another United Way partner, which is a day shelter located just off of Providence. There's Rainbow House for children where they work with individuals. There's Love Inc., which can help. Right. You know, I mean, so we have, through United Way's work, we have a web of resources, but the bottom line is those resources always are maxed out. We always run out of support uh, to help those individuals. And so that's why the appeal is we're doing good work, but we need more assistance so that we can serve everyone who needs it. So the bottom line is you need more money. Well, we do. You uh, need more yes, money. Yes, we do need more. Uh, yes. And, and um, I think no matter how much money you got, there would always be a need for more. Yeah, you know, and and it sounds when when we say there's a need for money, l- let me just say that uh, the reason why we make this call is because we work with individuals and we work uh, really hard at making sure that every single penny is utilized and uh, to the fullest extent. And we know we have had some successes. Um, can I share just a really quick story of, mm-hmm, of a sure. success? So, you know, you know, we do have an individual, a couple who uh, who actually were experiencing homelessness, um, Amy and Ben, and they were dealing with substance use uh, issues. They were in prison and out of prison, and and it was through their contact with with Love Inc. with a number of our other agency partners that they were able to get back up on their feet and to get treatment and to gain financial stability and to find a place to live. And so we know that as a community, when the resources are there and we can work together, we can see positive results. Last year, United Way's support helped over 50,000 individual needs met in our community. And I know we can do more, but we, uh, you know, we can make this place better for everyone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's still time in 2019 to help make a difference. Yes. But um, the important thing is give what you can afford to give and give with your heart. Because when you give with your heart, it does make a difference. It does. What, what, what is your, the goal for uh, this year? Uh, 2.85 million is Do you have goal. any idea where you are we're right getting, now? We're getting really close, but we're not there yet. And okay. so we're, we're still trying to get to the, that goal. If people want to give, what can yes. they do? So you can always you can call our office, uh, 573-443-4523. We're on all social media platforms. Okay. Our website is uwheartmo. And you can give org. on the website. Yes, you can. Okay. It's yes. secured. Yes. Uh, you can give on the website. Yes. Again, it is? uwheartmo.org. Okay. Andrew Grabau, Heart of Missouri United Way, thank you so much for coming by on the day before Christmas Eve and sharing your story with it. Actually, yeah, it, it, when, I, when I talk to you, it's, you share sad news, but you also share news of hopefulness. Well, this is a great community. We can do yeah, a lot. It is. It is. All right. Merry Christmas, Jerry. Merry Christmas, Andrew. Paul. And uh, something you'd like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. Pepper P at Missouri.edu. Tomorrow, a Christmas story with Larry Brown. Bye-bye.